Okay, here are three problems that can help you learn how to use the relationship between frequency, wavelength, and wave speed. In this first one, we've got a helium neon laser, which emits at a wavelength of 632.8 nanometers. Um, one of the characteristics of lasers is that they emit light um, in a very narrow band of frequency or wavelength. So we want to convert that to frequency. Well, let's start by writing the relationship. Remember it has these Greek letters, lambda times nu is equal to c. And when we're dealing with light, c is the speed of light in vacuum, which is 2.99792458 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, exactly. I used to have a job where I needed to know that. Nu is the frequency in hertz, which is reciprocal seconds, or 1 over seconds. And lambda is the wavelength in meters. Now we want to solve for frequency, so we can divide both sides by lambda to get nu equals c over lambda. And then we just plug in. We'll just use 2.99 times 10 to the 8th meters per second for the speed of light. Divide that by the wavelength. That's 632.8. And it's going to be times 10 to the minus 9th meters, because remember nano in the metric system means times 10 to the minus 9th, or a billionth. Now when we cross out our units, we see that we're left with units of 1 over seconds, which is frequency, or hertz. And all that remains is just to do the arithmetic. So the frequency is going to be 4.74 times 10 to the uh, 14th hertz. Now in our second problem, we want to solve for wavelength given a frequency of 750 megahertz. A klystron is something that you might find in your microwave oven. It um, generates microwaves. So we'll write down our expression, lambda times nu is equal to c. We want to solve for lambda the wavelength, so we'll divide both sides by nu, so lambda is equal to c over nu. And then we'll just plug in our numbers, 2.99 times 10 to the 8th meters per second and then divide that by the frequency, it's in megahertz, so that's going to be 750 times 10 to the 6th hertz, or 10 to the 6th times 1 over seconds. We can cancel out the 1 over seconds. Remember 10 to the 6th, mega means 10 to the 6th. So cancel out those 1 over seconds, we're left with units of meters, which is a unit of wavelength. And then we just have to do the arithmetic on a calculator, 2.99 times 10 to the 8th. Make sure to use the exponential button on your calculator. Divided by 750 times 10 to the 6th is about 40 centimeters. And for our third problem, let's calculate the frequency of some x-rays, x-rays that are about 0.9 nanometers in wavelength. So we'll solve our uh, lambda nu times c expression again to calculate the frequency. Frequency is c over lambda, and then we just have to plug in. c is 2.99 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, and the wavelength here is going to be 0 0.9 times 10 to the minus 9th meters, because nano means times 10 to the minus 9th, or a billionth. And canceling the units gives us a unit of 1 over seconds, which is hertz. That's what we're looking for, so we're in good shape. And doing the arithmetic gives us about 3.33 uh, times 10 to the, um, about 15th, 10 to the, 10 to the 17th hertz. So big number.